They call them the dulls, but they're anything but. But here's the thing. If you do the dulls too much, they do get kind of dulls. But if you do them like twice a week, they're anything but, brother. I'm... I'm blue. Am I a blue man? <laughs> or is this what I normally look like? You look pretty blue. You look a little purple. Okay, okay, just give me a second here. You know how it is. Holy cow, that's so red. <laughs> you know what this preset is called? This is called soft white. That seems too red. Give me a second here. Wait a minute, it's a little yellow, don't get me wrong. You look like you're in Narcos. It's awful, I, I F with it. I always find this lighting makes me think that I'm in like 2007 or something. Here, I'll try one more. Let's try one more. See, that's auto, but then when I sit down, it's a real problem. This one's called Daylight. This might be what I look like. Is this normal? Better, keep it, you finally got it. Daylight is the one. It's me, I'm back. I'm not like a salmon or like a, an alien or something. What color is your wall supposed to be? It's off-white, I would say. Anyway, let's, we finally got our white balance relatively good here. Bro, it was so funny when I was in Jackbox, I was trying to normalize the, the white balance based on the color of the bubbly can. And then when I got it right, I sat down and it looked like I was in the Matrix. Oh, man. It got me so good. Crude, 60 billion dollars, a billion dollars in cars, lots of petroleum gas, insulated wire, tobacco, palm oil, concentrated milk, crude petroleum, how much? 24 billion, extremely um, streamer voice, that's not that much, 24 billion dollars of petroleum, I mean, it's a lot for like a person, but it's not that much for like a country. 56 billion. Unglazed ceramics, wheat flowers, precious metal watches. 56 billion dollars. I'm going to start off with something crazy. I'm going to say this is Turkey. It's not Turkey. It is on the Arabian Peninsula instead. <laughs> why, why am I getting so many uh, question marks, man? I thought it was pretty good. $60 billion, 2,000 kilometers southeast. Southeast. <laughs> 2,000 kilometers southeast. Um, it's like probably not UAE. I think that's too small of a, of an export for UAE. I think in that case, it's like Qatar. Is Qatar on the, it's southeast of Qatar. I thought Qatar was like as southeast as it goes. No, wait, wait, wait. There's Oman. Oman is south. East of ah! <laughs> he got there. Well done. 
Oh God, oh man, oh God, oh man, oh God. In three, I know it's pretty, like Turkey is a good guess because the arrow that you get from Turkey, I mean, does anybody else think that Turkey is kind of like the, um, what's the platform called in Harry Potter? Plat platform seven and three quarters. <laughs> Does anyone else think that Turkey is kind of the Earth's platform nine and three quarters? Thank you, thank you. Because you can get like anywhere from there. You can get to Africa, you can get to the Middle East, you can get to Europe, you can get to Central Asia. That's crazy. It's like, uh, it's kind of like the back rooms of the Earth. Like keep in mind, I live in Canada. I like it here, but I can't get, to, like, I can only get to one country from where I am. I go south, boom, you're in America. I go north, boom, you looking for this? You're in America. <laughs> I go west, it's the damn ocean. You know what the first uh, country I find when I go to the west is? Ocean, 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 Hawaii, boom. Looking for this? It's America again. So true. What about Greenland? Not America. Denmark, I think. That, that makes sense. East? I don't know. You go east, uh, you're in the United Kingdom, also known as America. No disrespect. The America of the East. <laughs> I've often thought that England is the America of the East. That should be like the slogan for the, the country. Anyway. Globla. What are we looking for? We're starting with Oman. Hmm. It's not Oman. Oh, it sounded like a like a jaguar. Maybe it did. Maybe it sounded like a pneumatic. Um, twelve thousand kilometers. Do me a favor and and toss me down. I mean, this might not even be far enough, but toss me down in Vietnam. Oh my God! It's even. <laughs> it's even further. Is that even possible? Um, okay, take me to Guyana. That's warmer. I'm still 2,000 kilometers away from Guyana. Okay, how about uh, Chile? That's cooler, unfortunately. We're going to try Panama then. Oh, 11. Oh, don't be in the Caribbean, you piece of crap. How many Caribbean countries are there? We get it. It's uh, Dominica, Dominican Republic, Haiti, Haiti. How about Haiti? We haven't had Haiti in this, I think, for a while. That's even warmer. It's 120 kilometers from Haiti, which means it's not, it's not the Dominican Republic. Now, the big boy is Jamaica. Is that correct? Nope, that's not the big boy. What is, what is this big boy? Is that, are you Cuba? Maybe that's Cuba. The mystery country is Cuba. Sucks to get above average on that one. Are you for real? I'm not from America. Also, I don't live in the greater Toronto area. So like, I don't vacation in Cuba, okay? For me, like, this is how messed up Canada is, okay? I live like... Here, you know, roughly in this kind of region right here. Hey, Mad Dog Nation, thanks for the gifted subscriptions, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. Because of how messed up the earth is, it takes almost the same length of time to get to Cuba from where I live as it does to cross the entirety of the Pacific Ocean and get to Tokyo, Japan. Even though this looks like it's a hundred times further. That's crazy. Now, given the choice, would you rather vacation in Tokyo, Japan, or would you rather fly to Cuba to get drunk on Mai Tais with other Canadian drywallers? <laughs> I'm just saying, okay? If I'm, if I'm going on vacation, 
I don't want to see any other Canadians, okay? So I'm not going to Cuba. It's got the exact same Canadian density as Vancouver. I got to go, I don't know, spin the wheel and, and just pick a place. Wee, wee, wee. It doesn't spin. It doesn't spin. Too much drag. Go to Europe? Yeah, you'd love that, wouldn't you? Go, go to Europe so that I um, can't get uh, like water or something, right? <laughs> Uh, what is it? Oh, go to Europe and pay 25 cents to use the bathroom or something. What's the anti-Europe discourse right now? Oh, no, we're all mad at the only, uh, the guy in H Mart who thinks he's the only white guy in H Mart. So he wrote that song that people were supposed to have fun with, but instead it inspired like thousands and thousands of horrible bad faith takes. So I'm trying to recap this weekend's drama on Twitter. Flight from Vancouver to Havana is $400, to Tokyo $900. Okay, DL Guiga, who is the flight um, with to get to Havana? Because if you tell me that it's Sunwing, you lose VIP status. <laughs> it's Air Canada? Okay, you're safe. Don't get me started on Sunwing. Moonwing. We have to get him off Twitter? Why? It's weird. It, honestly, my Twitter experience is great. Twitter used to make me mad because it was a bunch of like 11 year olds tweeting me that were like, hey, where's today's Isaac episode? Please die. Now they've all left or they're like bothering other people. So all I see is other people's like, you know, viral tweets. I didn't think the dude's tweet about HMR. I thought he was just making a song and then a bunch of like 40 year olds chose to roast him for no reason. When I go to HMR all the time, am I the only white guy in HMR? No, I'm not the only white guy in HMR. There's like five of us, but I, I see what he's saying. He's overthinking it a little bit. Listen, HMR is a Korean supermarket. Did you see the one with the BMX guys trashing a golf course yet? I didn't. Wait, yes, I did. <laughs> they were just tearing up the green, right? This is Indonesia. You can't trick me. It's not Indonesia. It's Malaysia. It's Malaysia. Okay. H Mart is more than just Korean. You know what I mean. This is the H Mart Defender has logged on. I've been, I, I've been going once a week to H Mart for 12 years. Sorry, sometimes they also have like some Japanese foods in the frozen food section as well. What does the H stand for? It's weird because there's H Mart. I think it's Hana Mart. But then in Vancouver, there's another grocery store right across the street that's called Hanam. So it almost seems like is, there's like Hanam and Hanamart, but they're not related. As far as I know, they're actually like bitter rivals, forced uh, star-crossed lovers, one Capulet and one Montague, forced to do battle in the realm of capitalism forever. So true. A rose by any other name would smell as sweet as a spicy pre-marinated L.A. Galbi, I believe is what Shakespeare said. What do you think Shakespeare's favorite flavor of Miss Vicky's chips would be? I'm going to say plain because he was uh, British. Okay, we're on box office game. Sorry, I'm a little slow moving today. <laughs> we're just get. Just getting the, um, the cobwebs out. It's May 6th, 2005. This is me in 11th grade. Here's me in 11th grade. 
I'm learning how to drive. That's the end. That, I got nothing else. What? Why, why am I getting minus twos for that? Oh, you, you think I should just get my driver's license without having to take lessons? Okay, let me think. May 2005. I'm in 11th grade. I'm in 11th grade. Three movies opened up. The biggest one opened to $20 million. Just for reference, that's less than The Haunted Mansion made this weekend. And that movie opened in July, inexplicably. This movie stars Orlando Bloom. May 6, 2005. Um, let's call this Elizabeth Town from Cameron Crowe. Let's call this Kingdom of Heaven. Hey, okay, now I got Kingdom of Heaven. I'm trying to think of what else came out in this rough region right here. I mean, for a historical epic like that to open to $20 million is catastrophic, but I understand it's had a good long tail. Now, Alicia Cuthbert, that's going to be the girl next door because she was literally only in one movie ever. Oh, what? Genre horror thriller. Oh no 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 it's like house of wax. Hey two movies, two movies, and popular mechanics for kids. Touchstone pictures made nine million dollars at the box office, reasonably large fall off, starring Martin Freeman. This is the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I mean, that's a gimme. Lionsgate opened to 9 milli, starring Sandra Bullock in 2005. 2000, is there any chance this is Crash? Or is this Miss... You know what? Lionsgate makes a lot of uh, dog doo-doo. This is probably Miss Congeniality 2, Armed and Fabulous. Oh. <laughs> I was so sure that it was. It's, um, it's Crash. They will crash in May, maybe? Crash? It's Crash! One of the most embarrassing things I ever did. Um, I mean, I, keep in mind, I was 17. For Christmas 2005, I bought my mom the Crash DVD. And I was like, this is the kind of movie the world needs more of right now. <laughs> Why would you do that? I thought it was the kind of movie the world needed more of. Everybody just needed to stop being angry at each other and like listen to each other for a bit. We had to watch it in high school. I chose to watch it in high school. Universal Studios. Starring Nicole Kidman, 2005. This is um, Invasion. Or... The, uh, just give me a second here. <laughs> Nicole Kidman, can I get a genre? Crime thriller. And the tagline, the truth needs no translation. This is not Invasion. That might be Julianne Moore anyway. Different redhead. Nicole Kidman, The Truth Needs No Translation. Actor 2, Sean Penn. Reveal All, D Director. Sidney Pollack, Reveal All Hints. After Sylvia Broom, an interpreter, it oh, it's the interpreter! <laughs> I never saw it, but I definitely remember it existing. Okay. The tagline should have been, she is called the interpreter. All right. I mean, we did good today. 76 percentile. Being 17, like at the era that box office game takes place is actually, it's OP. It's like being 13 and playing Valorant. So true. Dude, I was at the park with my daughter this weekend and there were like three, you know, here's what I realized, you know, and if you're like in this age group or maybe you were these kids, I apologize, but it's just the way I see it as like a, a parent of a two-year-old, right? Kids up to like the age of nine, 10, 11, 
very amicable, very affable, palling around, just having fun together. Kids between the ages of like tw 12 and up for a little bit, and then the upper bound, it depends on like what the, their friend group and their personality and stuff like that. A little scary. Because I, I got to see like the progression, the male life cycle, right? There were a bunch of like toddler boys at the playground running around, having fun, playing tag, tripping, scraping their knee, getting up and laughing about it. And then there were three 10-year-old boys that were like sitting on a big rock and they were just having a great conversation with each other. They just said, uh, you know, I, I heard one of them say, ah, so I'm not the only one hopelessly addicted to Roblox. And I was like, that's, I love that for you. But then there were three 12 or 13 year old boys that were like sitting on like a piece of playground equipment. And you could see that like in only two or three years, like they've gone from like, my mom and dad are my favorite people on earth to like, I need to figure out what my own identity is. They were listening to drill rap on the playground and just like swearing. And I'm like, you don't even realize that the fact that you're doing this on the playground means that you're still kids. Like you're saying the F word while you're sitting on the jungle gym. Like you don't even, you're not a real, you're so far away from being a real adult that it's like comical. But they were, uh, you hear them say stuff like, you know, it's because I'm not a kid, because I'm not an effing kid. And I'm like, man. Thankfully, um, they're boys and we have a girl and as we all know, teenage girls are no problem. So I'm not too worried about it. They pretty much just stay angels like all the way through to <laughs> old age, right? Around 50 sometimes they get a little, can I speak to your manager? Do you know how much money I come in here all the time, et cetera, et cetera. But, and then after that, it's bacon cookies and passing on wisdom. I'm so back. What are we at? 55 minutes into the stream. First joke. We got there. It's going to be a good week. What is this? Oh, these are all movies with Jim Carrey. But how do I... Because um, the connection is Jim Carrey. Okay. <laughs> Jim Carrey uses a mind-altering machine. This is Eternal Sunshine. What is, he, he's also heartbroken in that one. And he forgets. Okay. This is the mask. <laughs> Jim Carrey dances with police. Jim Carrey, um, his dog helps him escape from jail. Jim Carrey wears a yellow suit. Carrey meets someone on a train is eternal sunshine. Okay, and then Carrey's dog helps him escape from jail. This is the mask. I would say he's, he's green in the mask. This, then there's a liar, liar. S Carrie in court, Carrie asks questions. Carrie must tell the truth. And he misses a birthday. And then receives orphans, is a villain, tries to marry for money, is a stage actor. What movie is that? Uh, Lemony Snicket's a series of unfortunate events, of course. But then there's a fifth one? There, okay, so like, I know Jim Carrey's filmography pretty well, okay? There is another movie where he's in court, and it's called The Majestic. I own it on DVD. It's about a man, he forgets, he gets amnesia, and then he moves back to his hometown, and he's accused of being a communist in, like, McCarthy-era America. Um... He is a stage actor, I'm assuming. Never mind. He receives orphans as well. Brother, come on. This is, this is the majestic. Carrie's in court. Carrie forgets. He does not dance with the police, I think. Carrie is green. What about... Um, could this be Batman? Car Jim Carrey asks questions. Jim Carrey is green. He uses a mind-altering machine, and he's a villain! It's Batman Forever. Okay. <laughs> I thought for sure it was the Majestic, man. Craziest thing about Batman Forever for me 
apart from the very funny quote of uh, Tommy Lee Jones hating Jim Carrey and saying, I can't sanction your buffoonery. Um, this is the first time I was ever introduced to the Flaming Lips. There's a Flaming Lips song in that, weirdly enough. It is not Do You Realize. The movie came out pre-Do You Realize. Have a good stream. Thank you. You too. You too, two and a half scums. You too. It is the one from, with Kiss from a Rose. Me too. You too! It's a beautiful day. Don't let it get away. If you too is so good, where's you three? They go, they go straight from U2 to UB40. And honestly, they should have stopped at 2. Because by the time they got to B40, they were cooked, man. They had like half a song left. I know, Red Red Wine. You like it? You were probably conceived of that song. Don't make me laugh. I legit thought Red Red Wine was from the 70s. I think it's from like 1990 or something like that, which is crazy. I did a Peloton ride last week that was like, it was 10 songs and every song was the biggest song from uh, that year, like according to Billboard. And the early, like I can understand why Gen X loves Nirvana so much. I think Nirvana is like pretty good, but Gen X goes crazy for Nirvana. And you know what the reason is? Because the first like four years of the 90s were god awful, man. It was like uh, Brian Adams, everything I do, I do it for you. It was just like nonstop, horrible, like soft rock ballads. And then Nirvana came in and said, you know, ah, yeah, da. at least in terms of, uh, you know, like radio music. Okay. Sorry, I'm, I'm really stalling today. <laughs> My Dorito! Da, 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 da. I do feel like at the end he still says, Lady Gaga! Lady Gaga! Joker. <laughs> oh my God. Joker. I see Room. That's Brie Larson. See Social Network, Jesse Eisenberg, David Fincher, Ridley Scott, Bohemian Rhapsody. What is a, a movies that take place in England? Roma. These are mm, one word uh, movies. What is a one word movie? Parasite. Winners of Best Oscar. Winners of Best Actress Oscars. Russell Crowe. The Other Fines. This is Joseph Fines. Life of Pi. Ang Lee. Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. Francis McDormand. Roma. Black Klansman. That's, that's Topher Grace. I don't even know where to get started, to be honest with you. Um, I feel like all of the... By the way, average is three out of five. This is crazy. So I think... <laughs> Um, movies that won Best Picture is like Shakespeare in Love, unfortunately, Parasite. Ah, wait, 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 wait. I've got something here. King Richard. Didn't Bohemian Rhapsody lead to Rami Malek winning Best Actor? Maybe Joker is like Best Original... Screw, wait, Power of the Dog won Best Picture too, right? Oh no, Jane Campion. Macros, look away. By the way, did you see that? Uh, the, in the Women's World Cup today, Canada got beat by Australia 4-0? I thought we were good, man. We got beat 4-0 in soccer? We got lit up. By Australia. I don't know. Australia might be good, but like, holy cow. Stinks to go out like that. 
Canada in soccer, lol. We won in like, well, I wasn't there, but like we won in 2021, right? We won the gold medal or whatever the trophy's called. I feel like that happens a lot though. Like the team that wins the World Cup next year in the group stages, they're like, oops, we forgot how to play. Anyway, um, I'm in a lot of trouble. Movies that would win screenplay. No. Did Brie Larson win Best Actress for Room? Bohemian Rhapsody won Best Actor. For sure. King Richard, Best Actor. Joaquin Phoenix did not win Best Actor. Who else would win Best Actor? Great question. Maybe Russell Crowe in Gladiator, but I'm pretty sure Gladiator won Best Picture, but that might be the connection. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. We're cooking a little bit. I feel like if one, this could be, they were all nominated for Best Picture, but they did not all win Best Picture. Best Picture this year was Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. This could be a screenplay, three billboards. Oh. <laughs> screenplay Joker. Screenplay Black Klansman. There we go. What, best adapted screenplay. Okay. Nine swaps remain. There's no way Billy Bob Thornton's winning best actor. Okay. For, not for Monsters Ball. It's not. They wouldn't give it to Joaquin Phoenix for that. It's got to be Shakespeare in Love, brother. Oh, no! Monster's Ball! Oh, God! <laughs> I'm cooked! Joker? Joaquin Phoenix won Best Joker? Best Oscar for Joker? Really? Um... Now, best picture is going to be Gladiator, Social Network, Shakespeare in Love, and Parasite. <gasps> and Moonlight. Oh, I got two swaps left, brother. <laughs> I don't even, I don't think mathematically we can get there. Now, best actress is right here. We can get there. And then Power of the Dog, Roma. Parasite, Life of Pi. Well, I mean, we, we literally just solved it, but I don't know what... Th this is Best Actress. This is Best Original Screenplay. Best Director. Best Director. Okay. I was going to say it's like Best uh, Foreign Film. Korea. India. Mexico. New Zealand? It's literally impossible to not win with two swaps left. D.L. Guiga, you got a lot of, you're, you're a little hypercorrective lately. I, so you know what, you know what threw me for a loop? You got VIP'd because you helped out a lot in the password game, okay? Don't get me wrong. But then you started talking about the Vancouver seawall and you were talking smack and I was like, oh, you must be from Vancouver. Then you said, I'm from Brazil. And I was like, why are you talking smack about the Vancouver seawall? And you know how you replied? You said, I can link you to a video essay about how it's underutilized. Bitch, I live here. <laughs> I'm living inside of the video essay right now. I, somebody help me out. Help me, get me out of here. It's not literally impossible to not win with two swaps. You could just do a fruitless swap. You could go like this, badong, badong. Two swaps, we lose, as long as we're being pedantic. Movie to movie. Yo, I've seen this movie. You know what's a great period in life? When you're old enough to go see movies yourself, but not old enough to be like critical. You know, like from age three to like age 14, I don't think I ever saw a movie I didn't like unless it was boring. That's it. I saw The Recruit in theaters with like three friends of mine in the ninth grade. And I was like, this might be one of the best movies I've ever seen. Get home, check Rotten Tomatoes. Shit has like a 4% or something like that. 
But when you're a kid, you're like, I don't know. It's, it, it was reasonably entertaining. People shot guns. Colin Farrell was in it. Al Pacino. <clears throat> Bridget Moynihan. I feel like Bridget Moynihan is in this as well. Now, I'll be honest. I don't know who's in the bank job. Except Jason Statham. But let's, uh, let's try it. And then flip me. So the answer is not many people that you would know except Jason Statham, which is fine. So we're trying to get from Jason Statham, hi Tomo, to Colin Farrell, hi Tomo, or Al Pacino. I think it's not hard because Jason Statham is in the Fast and the Furious movies. Tomo, okay, don't, don't get in the cords, okay buddy? It's not Al anymore. It's Dunk. So true. So I'm thinking of Al Pacino. Al Pacino's been in a lot of dog shit, which is great because we can make a connection. Like I feel like let's. This is not going to be as efficient as possible, but let's connect thusly to annoy as many people as possible. We'll go Jason Statham to Spy, and then I have to believe that in Spy. We can then get to Adam Sandler and connect via Jack and Jill. And I know how to get there. It's Rose Byrne into uh, Neighbors starring Seth Rogen. Into Seth Rogen. Into Funny People starring Adam Sandler. Into Adam Sandler. Into Jack and Jill. Into Al Pacino who plays Dunk Cacino. Into The Recruit 2003. Boom. Now, it's not as, it's, it's fast in real time. It's not fast in terms of steps, though. Colin Farrell, and then, of course, you just go straight to Cassandra's Dream, which has Richard Lintern. <laughs> Tomo, I, I really need you to not uh, rub up against the courts. I'm going to lose my mind, okay? Hi, yeah, I see you, buddy. I see you. Hoo <laughs> I'm glad, I, like, I'm not the first person to have this thought, by the way. I'm glad other people are coming to terms with the fact that uh, Scent of a Woman ruined Al Pacino. He won best, Os best Actor with like one of the craziest performances of all time and then just turned that into his entire personality for like the next 30 years. Went from like a, a, a goaded... Hollywood actor to like every movie he's like well that's not true because heat comes out after well maybe I don't know what I'm talking about anyway I'm pretty sure am I crazy to think that this is one versus 100 this just looks like one versus 100 to me I, I can't believe it isn't Metacritic score of 82 this is control Windows, PS4, and Zone. This is Death Loop, right? It just has that style. It's an action FPS. Skip me. Originally released in 2017. I'm just going to be honest with you. With God is my witness, I don't know what this is. It's made by, this must be Prey then, because it's made by Arcane. So Deathloop was a good guess. All right, we got there. You should actually play this? My inner ear is too fucked up to play first-person shooters now. All I can play, the only thing I can do is look at a map. Come on, you got to get out of here, buddy. You just can't be in the courts. Gandal. He loves... Tomo, don't... <laughs> I'm kind of losing my mind, Tomo. Kind of losing my mind. Keeps scratching my leg. Tomo! Imprisoning me. Scratching my leg. Absolute savings. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know the words to one by... Um, 
Metallica. So all I think of whenever I think about it is um, the picture where James Hetfield is walking out of a store on Rodeo Drive. It's like, savings, emboldening me, all that I see, absolute savings. Yeah, you got it. Because I'm spending on Rodeo. I don't know what that means. But I do know that Shorty's got a habit. Diamond rings and Fendi sports bras. Riding around Rodeo with my Maserati sports car. Something like that. I don't know what this is. So I, one average guest attempt? I don't believe you. Skip me. This is, I know what this is. This is Worms. Worms Armageddon. There's no shot this is one average guess attempt, man. Average is one? The average person is like 5'10", like me. This is like you just told me the average was like 6'3". Tomo, you, this, this is getting crazy, buddy. You gotta, you gotta go. You gotta, we gotta work on the honor system here, okay? I don't have a... Um, I don't have a door in this office. So we got to work on the honor system, okay? I don't think I should do Game Deal Guess anymore, man. It's just... <laughs> I honestly think Game Deal Guess takes 2% of my brain power for the whole day. I think it's like using... 1 50th of your gas tank to like burn rubber at a green light just to stop at a red light like a block away. 2% doesn't seem like a lot. It, it is when it's 2% it's of my brain power and it's like 0.05% of my, my time awake during a day. It's my favorite. Okay, fine, I'll do it. But if, it, it, if I don't get it, it's fucked. You get out of the courts. It's one of the best dolls. All right, all right, pair. Many people are saying it's one of the best dolls. I did everything wrong and they indicted me. He's literally, Tomo, learn English, okay? You can be here, I'll pinch you. Just stay on this side instead of on the cords, okay? Just don't go to the cords. You can stay away from the, if you stay under my desk, that's good. But don't go to the side that has the computer. Okay. Dark Souls 2. Scholar of the First Sin. Ooh, two green bubbles? It's earlier than 2014, but it's within the Xbox 360 console generation. It may have a theme of open world or fantasy and a genre of role playing or adventure. Um, boom, you looking for this? The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. It's later than 2006, okay? It's not in the same saga, but it is first, it's probably a first person game from 2006 to 2014. It is. I was going to say Halo, but I'm pretty sure that didn't come out on the PS3. It's Call of Duty. No, it has to be open world or fantasy. First person fantasy. Not that common. Not, not on, well, you know, Skyrim is one, but it's not going to be Skyrim because it's in a different saga. Dante's Inferno. It's not going to be Dante's Inferno. You know what we learned? It's not fantasy. It's open world. It's an open world adventure game. Commodore, Commodore 64. Commodore 64. Dante's Inferno came out for the Commodore 64. Maybe the book. Because they came out around the same time. PSP? Really? Okay. Adventure. Open world adventure between... 2010 and 2014. 
It takes place in the first person. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> 2010 to 2014. Where was I at in my life? It could be syndicate. They, I don't know why I always go back to syndicate. Could be shoot mania storm. Could be, could be Borderlands 2. Mm, it's 2012, first person, this generation, 2012. It's Dishonored. Now we've narrowed the subset, it's so much easier. It's not Dishonored, it's not Dishonored, but it's in this, we're in the, it has some stealth elements, it has some open world sandbox stealth elements. It's in the first person. It's a one-time clue. It's a first person shooter adventure. It's Deus Ex Human Revolution. Oh, this is 2011. It, uh, I don't know, it's murdered soul suspect. <laughs> Just kill me. Just kill me. You got me. Fallout? No. No, it's not going to be Fallout. What are you? What are you? First person, stealth shooter, adventure elements. It's Portal 2. It's Quantum Conundrum. I don't know. It's um, green. Pokemon Leaf Green. It's um, Age of Empires 2 HD Edition. It's Fall! <laughs> I want to throw up! That was easy enough. Oh, yeah, you're right. That's a good doll. It's a good doll. It forces you to use your brain. That was definitely gettable today. <clears throat> but how about this? A one-word mystery thriller. From 1996. That's well liked. I don't know. Like the Postman and Double Indemnity, this glossy neo-noir exploits and eventually deflates the male ego. I don't know. Offers the not unappealing spectacle of gorgeous, funny, clever women Making fools of hard-boiled mafia guys. I'm not beating the allegations. Above all, it's a good thing the Wachowskis are as darkly hilarious as they are because they go for Quentin Tarantino style in your face brutality. This movie is called Bound, starring Jennifer Tilly and Gina Gershon. I know this movie! I know this movie! Literally never heard of it. It's a prequel to The Matrix. Holy. You may have heard of a sequel by Kanye West. This is Chrono Photo. To me, this fashion is very... It's tough. To me, this feels like late 2000s. But this also isn't the country that I'm from. So I don't know if fashion was different over here. I think it's late 2000s. I'm going to say this is two. I'm going to go 011. It was 01. Okay. I mean, and by 01, I mean 10. Now this... This looks like when my dad was in high school. Is this Josh Gad? That's Josh Gad. He's like immortal, man. <laughs> That's not my dad. If anything... This is kind of my dad. I knew your da, your da wanks on all fours. That's actually against TOS. Time traveler? 
Um, I think, <laughs> sorry, I'm going to say, is this Christopher from The Sopranos? Oh, I didn't even see this, man. The cowboy hat. There's a lot of hat diversity here. We got like, a, I don't even know what you'd call this. We got like a guys and dolls hat. We got a Dick Tracy hat and we got a, a little Woody's Roundup. We got everything, man. Jermaine Clement. I think this is 1983, literally. Nope, 1982, literally, okay. This is a train. This is Los Angeles, 1921. I'm just gonna say, this train looks fucking stupid, dude. Like, I, I respect public transit, but look at this thing. It looks like a refrigerator. I think it's cool. You're entitled to, I'm just saying. It does look like a, like a the mystery machine. It looks like a Volkswagen bus. I have no idea when this is. This is some like Andrew Ryan shit. This is how you get to Rapture. I'm gonna say this is 1930 even. 1949? This is, well, he's wearing a Fear Factory t-shirt. So I'm gonna say that this is the year 2000. He's ripping up that bass, man. Is this a famous band, by the way? Like, like is this them in high school, but now they're famous? I don't think this is grunge, because if this was grunge, they wouldn't be wearing a Fear Factory shirt, okay? That's my two cents. What I think this is, is the post-grunge era, which makes me think that whatever they're playing probably sounds fucking horrible, in my opinion. But I could be wrong. I don't know, maybe this is Radiohead. I'm gonna say this is the year 2000 even. You know what, I'm gonna go 99. Oh, it's 98. Today, free polio shots at home. Your health department. Listen, there's a lot of directions you could go with this one. Nowadays, you want to see your doctor? We're currently doing intake for new patients in winter 2024. And not January 2024. I'm talking November, December 2024. In the 1940s, 1950s, they break down your damn door and be like, here's some medicine. Come out, we got you surrounded. It doesn't make any sense, okay? This is 1952. It's 1961. Sigourney Weaver in the middle? What the hell? <laughs> Hi, Tom Mall. OMG, it is. We did pretty well today, though. No, we didn't. 3178. Can you imagine? <laughs> Do you remember? I used to say 4,000 was like my, uh, my benchmark for a good win. We haven't gotten that in a long time. It does. Why, why does it say shots in quotation marks? You're right. Get your polio shots here now. That was before we knew the power of quotation marks. It's, it's pre-Seinfeld. Okay, now we, we got some freebies. I appreciate this. Tomo, if you don't get out of the cords, I don't know what I'm going to do. Because I don't, I don't have a recourse. I can't kick you out of the office because there's no door. Garbage. Look at this McMansion. I wouldn't live here if you gave it to me on a 30-year fixed mortgage at... 2.01%. This damn dump. Looks like something that you'd see in a 90s movie where like the dad is a plumber. Grow up your whole life thinking like this is what the middle class looks like. I'm going to say this is a $1.4 million house. I don't know where it is. That's too low. It's in Baltimore, Maryland. I think I'm going to get some minus twos for that, but I actually very much enjoy the interior design. I think, I think it looks nice. Does it look a little old? A little, a little 
musty, maybe, but I kind of like, I, I like this. It's, it's like classy old. It's not like the furniture still has the plastic wrap on it. It's like classy grandma. Naked grandma, Steve. $2.25 million. It's too low. 7,000 square feet. That's kind of a lot. I'm going to say this is a $3.5 million house. That's too high. Let's not go crazy. Now, I hate this. I was kind of digging the interior earlier, but I definitely hate this bedroom. Look at the size of it, though, man. Like, is the bed like the size of a postage stamp, or is the room just insanely huge? You could play basketball, like, with the rest of the, the space. This is crazy. It's like a 1,000 square foot rug. I forgot what we were guessing. This is 3.3 million dollar house. It's <laughs> too high. Okay, no, no, no. That's an okay guess. 1.27 acre lot built in 1998. Shit looks like Skyfall, brother. It's a 2.9 million dollar house. That's too high. Private home and exclusive neighborhood. Potential for two additional beds. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I was wrong. I hate the furniture. Um, I was wrong. It's a 2.75 million Andy. I couldn't crack the Housel code. It's a 2.4. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm washed today. That's fine. I'm still having a good time. We've had this photo before. I know it for sure. This is Alcatraz. In West Berlin. Am I right? <laughs> Sorry, it's a callback to the last time we played the Dulls. So fucking Alcatraz is, yeah, there it is, Alcatraz Island right there. Terrible shooting form? What are you talking about? This shooting form, it looks crazy considering we don't even know where the basket is. Thing could be like uh, 500 feet away. He's ball? It looks like a good jump shot to me. And I know ball. Many people on Twitter are saying that I know ball. Like I'm telling you, I'm calling it right now. Librarian, make sure you clip this, okay? Because this could go viral. Nobody's touching the suns this year. I'm being sincere. I know people hate like, oh, the stars are building their own teams. Like there's no loyalty anymore. Whatever. I just call it like I see it, okay? Now that they have a dedicated five in the form of Bowl Bowl, he's really going to open things up for Devin Booker to play his game. Don't even get me started on KD. KD's KD. You know what he's going to do? Devin Booker is going to have so much space on the court because of Bowl Bowl. I think he could really put down an MVP season personally. He's washed? He's not washed. He just needed a change of scenery. I say this is 1955. 1969. Photo from Alcatraz Island. No way. He's all right. It's an okay performance. This is Latvia. I could tell you that much for... Well, you, you can't see why I know that. Here, let me see if I can put it here. It's because it says, like, Latvia here. Hey, Emerald Fur 9, thank you for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Thank you. This is Latvia circa 1996 in my opinion. 1991. Demonstrators protesting for legislation to protect against communism. I'm not being a hater one way or the other. There's four dudes. I guess I don't want to say like it's not a valid protest unless you get like 20 people, but there's literally four old guys. What the hell is this? <laughs> I 
I don't know what to say. I don't know where this is. I don't know where he's going. I don't know what he's doing. It does look a little bit like Bloodborne. Is it possible that this could be Yarnum circa... I don't know what year Bloodborne takes place in. Twenty fifty, two thousand and twenty-three. Hmm. I it just it it looks like England, but he's driving. No, 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 because he's driving on the right side of the road. But that license plate is not American. Was there like? <sighs> Did England start driving on the wrong side of the road? What do you mean there's no right side, wrong side? Whoever drove the first car got to choose which way that the car should be driven on the road. So where was the first car driven? Because somebody made a mistake. Somebody said, oh, no, 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 I would never drive on the right. I'm going to drive on the left instead. Germany made the first car? That doesn't sound right to me. I'm going to say it was America. Probably down the middle. True, because there were so many horses parked on the side. All right, London, circa 1928. Oh, a pantomime camel needs the hood down to fit in a taxi. Is this like a fortune cookie? I don't understand. The, a pantomime camel needs the hood down to fit in a taxi. So true. Measure twice, cut once. A broken watch is right twice a day. This is Saint Etienne Le Bourbon. It's uh, this is like the Tour de France. I'm going to guess this is the Tour de France. At first, I thought it was um, like an auto race, and I guess it still could be. But like, this dude is a cyclist. I'm sorry to tell you, or I'm happy to tell you. And this guy, I don't know how well you can see his hat. This guy is a cyclist. You get to like with a hundred percent guarantee. But this is not French. This is like Belgium or which means this might be auto rate. But this you tell me it took 51 minutes, right? It's the sit it it top means stage, right? This is the 16th, 16th stage. Saint Etienne Le Bourboule. I don't know. Maybe this is Le Mans, the Le Mans of biking. I don't know where Saint Etienne is. I'm going to put us right here. I'm going to say this is 1992. Big screen confirms Roche's win during the Saint Etienne to La Bourbeau stretch of the 1992 Tour de France. Well, the year was great. It turns out, though, that the Tour de France takes place in France. So they should really get a new video provider because... Jongelin Video Rusendahl, that is not a French company. There's no, no doubt about it. <laughs> Me, when I accidentally, I, I go to take a photo, then I realize I've got front-facing camera on by accident. <laughs> so true, so true. I just don't know what's happening. <laughs> I'm like, is there a glitch in the photo? Or is it like a tight bun? There's a person standing by... Oh, there's a person standing behind her. Oh, that makes way more sense. I was so confused. But then, wait, if there's a person standing behind her, why does she have the Frankenstein haircut? That doesn't make sense either. I mean, she could, I guess. It just seems like... That doesn't make sense. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. Bro, it's literally like the throw-in. You know what I was thinking would be really overpowered in basketball? Can you just shoot on the throw-in? Like on the inbound ball? Because I'm pretty sure you could become like indefendable. Undefendable. 
No, you can't. They should change that so you could, because that would be fun to watch. It would be insanely overpowered. It's illegal. Your homie has to alley oop it. <laughs> okay, anyway, I didn't even think about this. We're in Boston, and it must be post 1963. Because otherwise they would know the future if they had that banner up. So, Massachusetts is one of those states for such an important state. It do be like a little small, which is weird. Like what, it's somewhere, Massachusetts, there it is right there. Ryan, I don't know what you want me to, I, I'm sorry. This should be Canada. So just act like you've been there before, okay? So true, so true. I'm, thank you, there's too many damn states. Americans when they don't know where Spain is. What am I supposed to do? Memorize every country? Americans when someone doesn't know uh, whether Jacksonville, Florida is uh, in the south or the north of the state. You don't know where Jacksonville is? Oh, brother. Boston. Not my favorite city. I believe TD Garden is the, that's where they play, probably next to Tasty Burger, Halftime Pizza, and um, nom, 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 nom. 1967, 1972. How do we do though? Ooh, 43, 493. Pretty good performance. Do we even do listed anymore? I thought I killed, maybe I killed, I, I killed Housel. I can't remember. Size of the screen is messed up. What are you talking about? Yeah, you're right. I don't know how to fix it though. You just try, I'm guessing down here. Hey, this is like a $200,000 house. It's more than that. It's in Colcord, Oklahoma. It's a $220,000 house. This is a $240,000 house. It's a $260,000 house. It's a $300,000 house. I've lost confidence in my game plan. It's a $350,000 house. 55 acres? You're gonna put that in the... You could have given me that information earlier. It's like 20 miles, I think. I don't know. 55 acres, 55 hectares. This is... You're not buying the house. You're buying like a, a town. It's a national park. I don't know, $600,000? No, oh, less than... Oh, it's less than that, idiot. It was 599000 when they listed it. <laughs> you dummy. Okay, let's say they sold it for five fifty. Sold for five fifteen. Too bad. Try again tomorrow. What is this? Is this a doghouse? It seems weird to have a doghouse that has like a door. Or is this like a storage shed? In which case, like, is this house like 100 feet tall and this is a normal size? Like, what's going on with this? Is it chicken coop? Root cellar? How, how are you supposed to get in there? It's the in-law suite. So true. Me showing my, my mother-in-law where she can sleep at our house. <laughs> you, can sleep in the, you can sleep in the uninsulated doghouse outside. The door is three quarters of an inch tall. Sorry, we use the metric system. The door is 1.6 centimeters tall. Traveler. Uh-oh. I'm in trouble. Today, I'd like to go from Lesotho to Senegal. 
Okay, you're gonna laugh. I can do this. From Lesotho, you have to go to South Africa. And then you go Mozambique. I thought you were over here. <laughs> it's, it's right, but I thought you were over here. Um, then you go to... Listen, at some point, we're going to go Congo and other Congo. I, it doesn't have to be perfect. Like, just, just to get there today would feel right, okay? Now... From Senegal... I feel like you want to go... Like, we know we're going to need a Nigeria... It's a long ass trip, man. You ever consider just staying where you are? <laughs> um, Senegal. Senegal can connect to Ghana. Oh. Mali. Hey, okay, okay. And then you're Benin. Maybe Benin connects. Oh, it doesn't connect. What the hell are you? What the hell are you? That is Burkina Faso. Oh, I'm, I'm connected. I'm connected. Okay. And then Mozambique. This is crazy. Somalia. Oh. <laughs> Uganda. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? The Gambia? I don't even know where it is. I, where was the Gambia? It's in Senegal? Oh, brother. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh. Zimbabwe? Oh, I can't make it. Central African Republic. That's a tough one. What did we need? South Africa, Botswana, Zambia, Congo, Central African Republic, Chad, Mali, Senegal. You were thinking of Zambia, not Gambia? <sighs> it happens. Wait, did I do? I might have done today's Pukdoku on the toilet already. I did. So you know what? You're free from, uh, you're free from Pukdoku today. But I, you know what? I'll, I'll fill it in the way that I filled it in on the toilet, just so you have some approximation, okay? It's even worse than if I hadn't done it. I did it on my phone so my answers aren't saved, okay? So for Boston and San Jose, I said Marco Sturm. Also known as Elon Musk. For Boston and Detroit, I got it, but I don't remember who I said. Boston, 50 goals. I went with Phil Esposito. New York Islanders, 50 goals. I went with certified hood classic Mike Bossy. Colorado Avalanche, 50 goals. I went with Burnaby, British Columbia's own Joe Sackick. For Avalanche and Detroit Red Wings, I went with UA Krupp also known as German John Mulaney. And then Colorado Avalanche San Jose, I went with Timu Solani, of course. He is easily one of the funniest 
headshots in NHL history, man. Well, the Soul Patch era. <laughs> he looks like the bad guy from A Knight's Tale. I had one more. I forget what it was. I didn't get two of them. I feel... I can't remember which ones I... Which ones I did and didn't connect. Oh, well. Just uh, uh, Wayne Gretzky. Uh, Rickard Walleen. Ed Ward. Nicholas Walleen. Who is this guy? I know it's Bertuzzi, but like... Is he okay? Nabokov used to play hockey. Yeah, before he started writing problematic books. He used to be the San Jose Sharks uh, best goaltender of all time. That's saved by Nabokov. Da, 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 don't. It, Nabokov, when Sean Avery is standing in front of him, please don't stand so close to me. You guys like the police? The, the band, not the institution. 